It is an honor to address you in this time where we are seeking to further understand and celebrate the role of creativity in the solving of modern era problems. With the backdrop of a global pandemic whose spread into our species is aided by just how small our world has become, we ask, how do we create the new world that will be post-COVID-19? Hello, I'm Christopher Brownell, a professor of mathematics education and co-author of Math Recess, Playful Learning in an Age of Disruption. My original purpose today was to talk about how COVID is presenting unprecedented opportunities for creative solutions to the age educational enterprise. I was going to discuss several important shifts taking place in mathematics education towards valuing creativity, integration, and divergent thinking, along with connections to data science, which is rapidly becoming a more critical topic than ever before. I wanted to describe how new connections to the arts world were being made in schooling owing to the efforts of several people here today, Pam Bernard, Jolt Lavica, Krzysztof Fenivesh, along with a group called the International Coalition of STEAM Educators. These people are finding ways to bring forth a new focus in mathematics and STEAM education. But then COVID really hit, and April 11th happened. You see, my talk was supposed to be about playfulness in mathematics and play in mathematics education. But the very idea of playfulness in mathematics lost one of its greatest practitioners to this virus on April 11th. John Horton Conway found his stride in mathematics when he solved the leech lattice problem in 24-dimensional space. 24 dimensions? I can barely fathom that. In the 1960s, he had befriended Martin Gardner, who by then had become a regular author in the Scientific American's Mathematical Recreations column. Conway was a common contributor to this column, along with being one of Gardner's go-to mathematicians when he needed to understand a thing. Conway started his work in the areas of mathematics known as group theory or knot theory, number theory, but he also invented games and played games avidly and studied them. He was fascinated by the game of Go. The video you are watching has a GIF file of a game that he invented, the game of life. He created this game wherein cells in a square lattice live or die based on the status of the cells around them. Played originally with paper and pencil, we see order developing from seeming chaos. The Mac Tudor History of Maths website estimates that more computer hours have been dedicated to the game of life than any other single application. The science of cellular automata have gained great headway into many applied fields, such as flock behavior in birds and how other cells interact with each other. Yet all of that owes its beginnings to Conway's playing around with ideas and generally playful attitude towards learning. What you see now on the screen is a completed game of Sprouts, another Conway invention. This game can be played at home with a friend or a child. You draw several spots on a piece of paper, then each player in turn draws a line, which could be curved, between two spots possibly from one spot to itself. Then you place a spot between the two connected spots on the line you drew. Simple rules govern the gameplay. New spots always split lines into two parts and so cannot lie on an existing spot. No line may cross another or itself. And lastly, no spot may have more than three lines attached to it. This is a fun and easy game to learn and can play, be played for many hours. But if you try to play strategically with a large number of dots, you will find your skills of foresight to be greatly challenged. John Horton Conway was born in 1937, lived in both the United Kingdom and the United States of America. He earned literally dozens of awards for his contributions to mathematics was a celebrated inventor and discoverer. He came down with a fever on Wednesday, April 8th, checked into a hospital in New Jersey. 
He then succumbed to COVID-19 on April 11th and is already sorely missed. May he rest in peace. If you are interested in learning more about the STEAM education community, known as the International Coalition of STEAM Educators, we invite you to join us in the Google group. You may find the link in this slide. Thank you all, and I wish you well. Thank you.